When the etymology of a thing is not known, people bastardize such. You must know the root of every single thing. It's so important. It will make you appreciate how to go about it. The root of fruitfulness is God. The root, it is the one who wants you to be fruitful. You are not the one who wants to be fruitful. So when you start with thanksgiving, he said, out of them shall proceed the voice of thanksgiving and of them that make merry. They will just be shouting. Why are they shouting? They are shouting because they know that because it is God who intends fruitfulness, the devil cannot stop it. I am not trying to use my power. I am not trying to use my force to be fruitful. It is God who wants me to be fruitful. It is him who get pain. If I am not fruitful, God forbid. Because glorification is not for man, it's for God. Anything that has to do with glory, it has to do with God. Multiplication doesn't have anything to do with God. We are the one who enjoys it. When our sheep multiply. But you see, as people look upon us and say, Wow, this guy is increased. This guy is multiplying. They give glory to God. They say, let your life so sound and amen, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. He is interested in the glory. Therefore, it start this thread. Or trend of fruitfulness. It is God who wants us to be fruitful in every aspect of life. It is not you who wants to be married. It is God that wants you to be married. It is not you who wants to become a professor. It is God who wants you to become a professor. For it is God who gives you power to get wet. That he may establish the covenant that he made with your father. Deuteronomy 8, 18. It is God who gives you power. And David also in Psalm 67. If you go there. David also in Psalm 67. And I'm going somewhere. David also in Psalm 67, if you're there, began to cry to God. God, he began to say, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause your face to shine upon us. Go on. That your way may be known upon the heart, your saving strength among the nations. Another translation says, send us around the world with the news of your saving power and eternal purpose for mankind. But if God is not merciful to us and bless us, there is no way to send you. Only the devil sends you when you are in a rupture stage so that to laugh at God, to make mockery at God. God only sends you after he has had mercy upon you and bless and cause his face to shine upon you. That means your face is... When God's face shines upon you, your face begins to shine. It means wisdom. It means substance. It means that you will be in the midst of the brightest of the stars. And even the stars will be calling you stars. I mean stars. That's what it means. And David was crying this cry. And then God said, let the people praise me. Oh God, let all the people praise you. Then what happened? What's the next one? Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the people righteously. And govern nations upon the earth. Go on. Let all the people praise you. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then what happens? Then said the earth, ye that increase. And God, even our God shall bless us. Go on. God shall bless us. And the hands of the heart will fear him. I believe God that we will move yet into the realm of increase of God that makes the earth quick. Amen. I was talking with Oshay yesterday. And in the recent time we've been having some talk about the landlord of Oshay. Believing that Pastor David is a big time multimillionaire. For no reason. Just believe that I'm rich. And I'm, I wanted to be arguing that. Where is he getting all these fives? fives? And Hussein said, he, 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 he even knows that your wife is working in a big place and whatever. I wanted to be arguing that. Can we step this thing down? What is the meaning of this? I just told myself, no, there's no need stepping it down. Please, can they actually spread it to the Tishok? So that they can come and ask me, how are you making weight? You into some drugs? And I said, no, there is a particular drug. It's not the one you are talking about, but that's a particular drug. And they come here in the morning, they say, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. They say, see, no, it's, more than, it's not more than this. I say, you come for one month first. You will know whether it's more than this. By the time they come one week, they say, hey, Pastor, and I rest for one day, I say, no. <laughs> no retreat, no, sorry. Are you listen, there's a kind of blessing God wants to make your life off. That's the reason why when you don't know what people are dealing with, do not despise them. Somebody may be cool in the face, but is dealing with certain issues with God. And one day, something is going to break out of that. How many of you read where we read today? He said, brothers and sisters, let us continue to love one another. And he said, um, make sure you entertain people because that is how some people have entertained angels unawares. 
you could actually be, he hit me on the chest today. You could actually be sitting down with an angel without knowing. Because you don't know what somebody is dealing with, with God. You don't know what they are believing God for and are praising God and are giving God glory and are giving God honor and God is just giving them a long rope to pull and God is just trying to finesse them and chisel them out and trying to know whether they could actually carry this glory. Don't pin anybody down to their character. It is not on the basis of character that God exalts anybody. Otherwise, David would not. David was more of a rascal than Saul. Saul didn't sleep with anybody's wife. David did and killed the husband. It's on the basis of art that art is determined. No. Are you here? Will you hear this? Will you hear this? It's on the basis of art that art is determined. Height is not determined on the basis of act. It's on the basis of the earth. The content of the heart. How God is dealing with somebody. Because you don't know somebody's journey. You don't know what they've been dealing with. And all of a sudden, one day, don't let anybody break, anybody's breakthrough be the shame of your life. Always be a part of people. As soon as you see them. If you're not a part of a person who is going somewhere to happen, when they happen, you'll be hiding in shame. God forbid. I pick up a guy many years ago in Nigeria. A white man, she, she was working in a white man's house and the girlfriend of the white house threw her things out. She was even bleeding, left, right and center. I took her to my house and began to take care of her. The guy is a multi-millionaire in Nigeria now. Anytime I go to Nigeria, I'm taking care of by this gate. I didn't know her from Adam. I told people. That's what I do. I told people. I said she's the younger. She's the daughter of my mother's younger sister. I just use it to quench everybody's mouth in Lagos. I said that's how she is. They say oh you even look alike. I say can you see? She's a mother millionaire now enjoying life. You don't know where someone is going because God is always looking for how to make people have a breakthrough that will make the hands of the head to fear. That's the reason why also, do not despise yourself also. You never know what can come out of you. Don't despise yourself. Don't lower your guard. Don't because of anything despise yourself. Don't because of your character despise yourself. Don't because of the issues you are facing despise yourself. Don't because of anything, just focus on God. I've said the Lord before me, because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. That is what David kept saying. I've said the Lord at my right hand. Because he's always before me, I shall not be moved. Only God makes great. Only God. Not character. There is nobody here if we put all of us together whose character is the greatest of all character. Are you, even Jesus, I don't think you can fight for his character. I'm telling you, sorry, sorry, sorry to say. Our Lord and our Savior, I fight for your character. But it was, it will just come to this temple now. Take Iboku, take uh, mercy, take, just start flogging you. That's what Jesus was doing. He would just enter into one temple, start flogging people and throw their money. If I throw people's money, all this gift now, say, you turn my father's house to Chris Kindle. Uh -huh. I just take all this thing by the Holy Spirit. Go and throw them in the bin. That is the kind of pastor you want. <laughs> Somebody will just be recording secretly, say, wow, he's gone mad. <laughs> I don't know which kind of a pastor is that. Then if you now send it on the forum, all the Irish people that don't go to no church say that's the reason why if church is for fools, you know. They're just fooling people. There is just all about money. But Jesus just came. Yeah. Just take, whip them, whip them, whip them. Throw their things. I say, damn me. He was running that day. Ha! He was rolling up his sleeve. Say, ha! Ha! Even his disciples say, what happened? <laughs> don't let that child go away from that place. Please, I beg you. Are, you. are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm saying? May the Lord make a show of you. I mean it. If you can find a genuine amen. amen. May the Lord make a show of you. Amen. May the Lord make a show of you. Amen. May the Lord make a show of you. Amen. May the Lord make a show of you. Amen. May the Lord make a public show of you to his glory. Amen. May the Lord show you to the nations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be so surprised when you see, when you meet with people that God has lifted. The character is not what you want to come near. Because God didn't leave them because of character. Character is good because of our human relations. So that uh, somebody can, will not be afraid of you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But God never paints people down to their character. Please write it down. God never. Are you hearing me? So when God makes you to see an evil character in somebody, please calm down. Don't let God make you a corrector. Because you'll be corrected forever.
when God used Nebuchadnezzar to deal with the children of Israel, I have used you. Now, I will not deal with you because you dealt with my people. <laughs> when God uses you to correct people, if it is not that you are allowing his spirit to use you to correct, very soon you will fall in error. Just see everybody the way Christ will see them. Get angry when you need to get angry. Get angry when you need to get. Just get angry. All right? Don't behave. Because hypocrites don't offend themselves. Honest people offend themselves. Hypocrites don't. I just like that church. Nobody offend nobody there. This is a bunch of hypocrites. Because Jesus was offending his disciples. They were offended. They didn't come with him anymore. They were offending him also. He was rebuking them. I am not interested in a relationship where we have not offended each other in one year. I, I believe that it is abnormal. I believe somebody is hiding something somewhere. I believe somebody is a witch in that relationship. Because they are too nice to be true. I don't want you to be too nice to be true.